An inside business story, key macroeconomic indicators of which shape the Nigeria economy for 2019. Some of them are the ACFTA agreement, uh, open market operations sales review, and US China trade conflict, the US Federal Reserve, a court benchmark rate. Even self, we have a Nigeria think tank. Don't make a projection for 2020, then, then use the NESG computable general equilibrium model. Where then they use to take analyze the impacts for different policies for major macroeconomic indicators, where include production, income plus savings, demand, international trade price, plus others. Certain things are driving the economics of this country, and um, we live in fear. Many people are poor. Most people are poor. Most people find their businesses tanking. People are working much harder for less, so there's something wrong. What must we achieve? It's fundamental um, that we achieve growth, but not just growth, inclusive growth. It's fundamental that we create jobs, and it's fundamental that we drag the over 100 million people that we have in poverty out of poverty. We are not just talking about growth, we are talking about lifting people out of poverty. So the question or the challenge is, it's not just enough to create jobs. We must ask ourselves, what type of job? Because as we see here, one of the uh, reports by World Bank says that Africa, and by extension Nigeria, has the largest number of working poor. So in this sense, you can work, you can be working, but you are still living poor. Right, so we should shift our focus from looking at giving out jobs as a solution to ending poverty into reframing the thinking and say job quality job matters. World economy runs on two wheels. One wheel is economic or trade. The second wheel is financial or capital flows. The trade wheel is weak. It's not just weak for Nigeria, it's not just Nigeria that is losing export revenue. It's weak for the world. It's weak for every country. So countries today actually join the race for the cheap global liquidity to mitigate the losses from trade. And that's the race that Nigeria needs to join. So Nigeria has suffered a steep loss of liquidity, which has caused growth deceleration. So rather than identifying growth as our number one priority, raising liquidity treasury should be our number one priority. And we should engage as a public-private sector, what can you do? you know, to get this liquidity.